everyone knows that Jimmy Page was a studio musician in the London area during the 60s, but many don't know how extensive the Rock and Roll Riff Kings session experience was. It all started in 1963 when he got his first professional studio gig at the age of 19. It was for an instrumental song by the former bassist of a band called Shadows. His name is Jet Harris and the song is called Diamonds. Here's a brief sample where you can hear Jimmy Page playing the quieter rhythm guitar part. From there, Jimmy Page began honing his skills and learning various recording techniques, which he would later draw upon once he formed Led Zeppelin and began producing their albums. One of his more notable early recording session jobs was when he did some work for The Who on their 1964 song, I Can't Explain, for which he went uncredited. Only Pete Townsend had the credit as a guitarist because it's rumored that it was to protect his ego because he was the the only songwriter. Roger Daltrey confirmed Jimmy Page's involvement in his book and in a 2013 interview with Howard Stern. When referring to Page, he said, he played lead guitar, he played the solo. Although, while Jimmy Page has stated over the years that he played rhythm on the track, it's quite possible that he did play the lead because he was the hot studio guitarist of the day and he was simply protecting Pete Townsend as a professional courtesy because that's what studio musicians did back in the day. As Jimmy Page once said, one of the things about being a studio musician at the time was that you kept it pretty quiet, you know? You didn't go around talking about it. We're not entirely sure, so what do you think? Here's a snippet of the solo of I Can't Explain. Alright, moving on now, enough of the who and bruised egos. Earlier in the year of 1964, Jimmy Page was asked to show up for a big recording session for a movie. Here's how he explained it in his own words to GQ magazine. There was a big James Bond session in EMI Studio Number 1 where I was playing guitar in the orchestra for John Barry. The full orchestra sounded absolutely amazing, but then Shirley Bassey arrived. This was Goldfinger. She arrived with a friend, was very quiet, and then was asked to come out and sing, and it took her just one take. And at the end of the tape, she collapsed on the floor. At the end of the song, she just held this one note and she basically ran out of breath and collapsed. You know how dramatic she is usually, what with all the stuff she does with her hands, but this was even more dramatic. And I was in the front row of the musicians, so I really had a good view of all of this. We have a sample of Goldfinger to play for you. It's a heavily orchestrated piece by one of our favorite film composers, John Barry. But if you listen Listen carefully in this opening part. You'll hear an acoustic guitar, which is purportedly a 20-year-old Jimmy Page. Now that's what we call a sonic gem. Oh, 